Welcome back to Porsche Top 5. Bright colors and unique patterns have always been part of the Porsche history. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Hi guys, my name is Ilari Urbanati. I'm a fashion stylist out of Hollywood. I'm a huge fan of vintage fabrics, so it's really cool that I get to be here in Stuttgart to check out Porsche's top five interior designs. And who wouldn't fit better to this topic than two of our experts from the Porsche Design Studio, Ivo van Hulten and Cornelia Rosenbaum. This is the first one, the 928. If you have a look at the embroidery details on the headdress, and also if you just touch the leather, really nice rich burgundy color and white stripes as a contrast, so, so it's a cool. really nice. I love it. I love this car. The 928, I think, is one of the coolest sports cars because I'm a huge 80s nerd. And actually, a friend of mine has this car. We got to zip around in it, so I'm a little bit biased to this car. Let's stop about the 928 because we have a lot more cool stuff to show you. Yeah. yeah, we're going to the 911s. Okay, so the next one is a 911. Actually, it's a 3.2 liter. It's a G model. Actually, it's the last 3.2 liter that we have. It's a bit more classical from the color combination. Yeah, we use um, Carrara white for the exterior paint, which blends in nicely with white stripe. You know, I actually am having like a big pinstripe face right now, which I know sounds funny, but I, I kind of work in these obsessive phases where I'll get like really into something. And I'm really into pinstripes right now. I actually just had Gucci make me a custom suit for a client for an award show, and it turned out so cool. Now I wish I'd done it in maroon. So I'm gonna have to do that next. <laughs> All right, so talking about cool colors, the next one will be a lot more colorful. Ooh, I love the tartan. I, you know, it's always been one of my favorite fabrics, and in the fashion world, it's so relevant just because it's been done in so many different ways. Very traditionally, kind of like the old Scottish thing, in the more rebellious, kind of punk rock way. I've just never seen it in a car, it's so cool. In this car, it's like the first turbo that Porsche made. Internally, we call this car the Louise. Oh, how come? Louise, because it was owned by Louise Piers. And uh, she actually was a painter, Amazing. really into colors, that. bright colors. That's why the floor is so bright. I love it. It's like velvet. And I like how they did it on the side of the doors, too. I haven't seen that. I just love how classic it is. Like, I'm such a sucker for anything really traditional. And speaking of which, I saw a car over there that I'm dying to check out. Well, then, come on. Okay. Let's move on over. This is our number two because it's a very special car to us. It's one of the oldest 911s that we own, actually the oldest. And it's the prettiest. You they do like it. it, yeah. Yes. Actually, they found it somewhere in an old barn in Berlin. Amazing. And they completely restored it from scratch. It's number 57. Can yeah. we get in it? <laughs> sure. Okay. Here you go. Oh, so amazing. I think we like the combination of detailing with the wood. I love the hound's tooth, which you guys call... Pepita. Pepita, yes. Pepita, yeah. I love it. I love the contrast with the black. It's so chic. And also on, on the shoes, as you can see, it's a contemporary pattern. And it's right. a good example for illustrating how a classical pattern can make its way all through So very days. modern as well. Like, you can use it now, for sure. Are you ready for number one? Yes. This will be the big one, so come on, follow <laughs> us. Here is our number one. For us, it's a very, very special car because it's a typical portion. Wow. It moves too. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Targa, it's an SC, and uh, it's from 1981, but it's very typical for the way it's done for the early 80s or yeah, late 70s, years, you could say. 70s, it's yeah. like psychedelic, I love it. Exactly, we have the Pasha pattern, it's called, and it's been based on the waving checkered flag, basically, when you drive over the finish line. Oh, yeah, it's nice too that it's on the Targa, because I think if you're gonna have a car this bold, you want everybody to see it. Yeah, I do agree. Do you want to get inside? Yes! To have a better feeling for it? Obviously! I love that it's navy on the inside, because I've never really seen that. You know, in a car like the navy leather, it's so cool and it's like, I just think the pattern is so bold, it's so aggressive, like in a good way. I have an editor friend who's always saying to me like, style aggressively, I feel like this is like, 
styled aggressively in this car. I love it. This is actually a piece of the scented material from the tea. So cool. Ooh, it's fuzzy. It's so yummy. I love this thing. I'd like, I would literally make a soup for a client in this. So I hope that we have been able to inspire you a little bit with our yes, interiors. Absolutely. This was such an amazing day. Thank you so much for presenting me with your top five. Thank you, guys. This was very interesting. And we're waiting for the suit, Alaria. Next week, we'll have a close look on the next generation of a sports car icon. So stay tuned and see you then.